Uh, tell the younger listeners uh, who Sandy Scott and Gary Juster were, please, sir. Sandy Scott, who has since passed away, uh, one of the great tag team wrestlers uh, with uh, his brother, George Scott. And uh, he worked in backstage uh, area with uh, Jim Crockett Promotions. He worked in uh, he worked in promotions, and he had some towns that he was the promoter for, uh, and was one of my good friends. And uh, I worked in the office with him. We had desks across from each other, and for me to be able to share an office with Sandy Scott was a big deal for me because I had watched Sandy Scott for years and years. Uh, one of the great company men of all company men of all time, and. Uh, and also one of the great uh, – he had some great stories. He and his brother George uh, had a tremendous disagreement uh, and didn't speak to each other, which is something that not many people knew about. Sandy never discussed that. You know, George went on to be, a, as you know, a very successful booker and I guess was also working for the, uh, the WWF back then. Uh, so they had uh, – they had a – some sort of spat. Gary Jester uh, was out of the Baltimore area, was a promoter. Uh, Gary and I still stay in contact with each other because Gary's a great baseball fan. He lives in the Atlanta area, and I do the Gwinnett Braves, the AAA team, and I've had Gary come to uh, some of our games. Uh, and Gary was a guy who just loved the business and uh, got his name by promoting in Baltimore and basically uh, was uh, moved to the front office. Gary and I had Tremendous arguments. Love to argue with Gary uh, because uh, he had always took a different side. He and I, you know, had had a gr- had a great relationship. But uh, Sandy Scott and Gary Juster. How about the you talking about porn mustaches? How about Juster's mustache in that show? It's epic. It needs its own Isn't episode. It, else? it needs its own <laughs> show. 